Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. So what we got is we have 32 or 33 2.5 inch hard drives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line them all up, show them to you on camera. We're going to test them, see if they work, see if they can still be used, and see if we can resell them. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and thank you for tuning in and as always. So YouTube doesn't exactly pay the bills right now. So I have to find ways of making money. And one of those ways that I do of making money is buying and selling computer components or basically whatever else I can get my hands on, but also repairing them. I have I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have 33, 33 2.5 inch hard drives. Uh, most of them are, um, you know, like 500 gigs or bigger. Um, this one right here, I don't know what this one is. It doesn't exactly tell me. Um, let's see here. I saw a Western Digital Black in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there's a Western Digital right there. Let's see how how much this one's holding. SATA. This is an older drive. It's three gigabits per second, so it's the old SATA format. It's 7,200 RPM, and it's a 500 gig. So anyway, and then I have these over here also that I got a 10 with. These are uh, DVD drives that came out of um, I don't know laptops or something, but. I got quite a bit of those but anyway I wanted to show you guys these hard drives and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up to where I can test them and find out the quality of them see if they're any good and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that so that's what today's video is going to be about so enable for me to uh, work on these hard drives we're gonna need a couple of tools so I got this right here it's a let's see I'll put it in the light better can you see it it's basically an offline cloner and an online um, but it's power it's a power dock IC station and it's by Kingwin and what it does is it allows me to basically dot, uh, copy data from one drive to another or it allows me to also plug an interface into the back of it and if you do that then what you'll need is this little disk right here this has all the drivers and software that you need to run the device properly and of course it comes with a little brochure or a little uh, not a brochure a manual of all things and um, a USB 3 cable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook these up into the system ah uh, it reminds me I have to hook a a DVD drive to the computer because I don't have a DVD player hooked to mine I mean who has DVD players hooked to their computers nowadays but I digress so anyway I'm gonna hook it to it and I'm gonna get the software loaded into it and what you do is, is you take the drive see, let's go this way or that way maybe this way you take the drive and you set it into the little slot and then you take the other drive and you set it into the slot now if I want to I can transfer data from here to here or from here to there but what I really want is I want to see what's going on with them I want to test them try to find out the read and write speed of them see if they're mechanically working if you know if there's anything damage wise to them so I can actually test two drives at once using this setup and that's basically what I'm going to do because I have about 30 hard drives here that I'm going to have to test for somebody um, and go from there so that's what we're going to do so let's let's go ahead and get it hooked to the system and we'll um, we'll go from there okay guys this is what we're going to do so I got a external HD can y'all see that I have an external USB 3.0 HD enclosure 
and what I did is I have the power docks now and what I'm doing is I'm power I'm power testing them so what I'll do is, is I'll take the drive and I'll put it into the dock and de depending on what color code comes up on the dock is telling me whether or not if the hard drive is good to continue forward so after I tested that I pull them out of this and then I put them in here all right like so I flip the light on little fan comes on and I should hear a beep at the computer that's telling me that it is detecting a drive so then what we need to do is is go in here and find a picture so let's go to save picture and then we go down to the local disk that it found and boom there it is it detected the hard drive so we know that this is a good hard drive so we'll just set it off to the side pick up another hard drive and pop it in if it will fit Let's see here what the? oh this one still has the screws in it alright well move on to a different one then alright how about this one try that flip on the switch power comes on there's the beep on the computer I just heard it so anyway guys I was trying to make a video about me working on the hard drives and doing all that but for some reason the data is corrupted I don't know if maybe it's the SD card that's bad or what but the, the from the time that I say the word to the time that you actually hear it is way off and then on top of that some of the um, some of the actual like uh, imaging of the is just chopped up it's like it's like ticking or something and, and it, it's just not working so I guess that's what happens when you try to make videos that don't always work out to your end so I'm going to try to put together another video here shortly about some things. Um, I got some more projects coming up. Um, this is a project right here that I'm working on. This one right here. Um, I got a customer's iMac that I have to fix. And then on top of that, I had all these hard drives and stuff that I had to try to work, that I had to work on and make a video about. But as we all know, that didn't that didn't work out too well so yeah I was in the middle of trying to edit it and do it but it just it just didn't come out right guys so I'm sorry about that so maybe next time I'll um, I'll have a little better luck in trying to make a video for you guys so but anyway thanks and give me a thumbs up yay more work to do I Matt uh, 2008, 2009 era, somewhere around there. I don't know, but we're going to check it out and see what's wrong with it.